Hi everybody, Eddie Bavarian, grüß euch, servus alle miteinander. My name is Dieter von Schura and I'm the owner and manager of the Artelino Company. The Artelino Company sells Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions. And the subject of today's video is a rather specific artist, a printmaker with the name of Tadashiga Ono. He lived from 1909 until 1990. He is an artist of the so-called Sasaku Hanga art movement. And this print is by him. It's a woodblock print. But a question for you. Do you like it? Oh, you're asking me if I like it. Well, uh, I once knew an art dealer and he told me you have to separate your personal taste completely from your business. But I'm too much of a straightforward guy in order to hold it back. So I give you a clear answer. I don't like it and I like it. Personally, my taste is different. But as an art dealer, I like it. Why? Oh, it's rather rare. And it fetches very good prices and it's in good demand. So market prices, let's say between $500 and $1,000 or oh, quite often even above $1,000. So oh, of course as an art dealer I have to like it. But let's talk a little bit about the biography of Tadashi Ono. He studied art at the Hongo Art Institute from 1924 until 1927. And then he became a member of the Japanese Sosaku Hanga Art Movement and the Proletarian Art Movement. But his big time came after the end of the Pacific War, after the end of World War II. Tarashige Ono, he participated in the famous print biennials uh, in 1957 in Tokyo and in 1961 in Moscow. Yeah, sure, Moscow. Huh? Um, and he became famous, he became a visiting professor at many Japanese universities uh, like the Tokyo University of Fine Art. And yeah, the proletarian art movement became less important, let's put it that way, a little bit a thing of the past. The artist even published several books on modern Japanese prints and even uh, one book on Chinese prints. His style is very peculiar, as you can, can see, and it may not be everybody's taste. Uh, this is rooted in social critical art movements, which had come after up after World War I. And it was not only in Japan, it was worldwide. In Germany, it was the German Expressionism or parts of the German Expressionism. You may have heard names like Käthe Kollwitz. Yeah? Um, in Russia, it was the social realism. In China, it was the Luxun art movement. Okay, after World War II, his enthusiasm for the proletarian revolution had lessened, but his style remained the same. His favorite subjects, what are they? They are town views and not beautiful town views, ugly town views, industrial areas, high chimneys, tugboats in canals. Um, the, the artist doesn't show the beautiful Japan as the Shinhanga artists do it. No, it's the opposite, industrialized cities. You can bring it to one point and can say he's the artist of the ugly. Yeah, sorry. Let's talk a little bit about the technique he uses. Normally a printmaker first prints the light colors and afterwards he adds the dark colors or overprints with the dark colors. Tarashige Ono does precisely this, the opposite. Uh, often he starts by blackening the paper completely and then he overprints the light colors and this makes a certain opaque effect. Um, when you're a little bit experienced, you recognize that the Shige Ono print immediately. It has a certain effect and many like it and pay high prices. 
Anyway, if you like him, then buy him. If you don't like him, buy something else. As long as you buy from Mortellino, it's okay for me.